you mentioned cynicism, Michelle, and I'm wondering about uh, gratitude because that word is talked about quite a lot and the impact of, of gratitude. Are there links between the two? Absolutely. I think if we can frame this as training the muscle of our attention, uh, gratitude is a way of framing our, you know, those neural pathways or, you know, where is our attention at to things that are actually okay in life. We are naturally predisposed to think of the negative, to be aware of the negative, because that keeps us safe. So we shouldn't feel bad about that. But in our highly complex world, um, our brain simply gets overloaded uh, with all the things that could happen, might happen or have happened. Uh, so simply bringing to our attention five things that have gone well for us in a day can be a highly effective way of combating some of that cynicism. And there's some very strong uh, research to back that up actually. So, you know, as an individual, just keeping a gratitude diary, uh, if you're having a meal with your family or loved ones, uh, you know, what went well today? You know, you can ask that question. Uh, you know, what good thing did you do today? So you're sort of focusing that attention on, on the what's OK mm -hmm. stuff. Um, you know, this can have a transformative uh, effect on people. I, I do remember a, a boy and he was he seemed like a boy uh, to me, but he's probably early 20s on a training session. <laughs> and afterwards, um, he said, you know, that thing you talked about, the, the gratitude stuff that completely saved my life. I was in a very dark place about a year ago. And, uh, I, you know, my counsellor said to me, just keep that gratitude diary. And he said, on my way here today, I saw a bird land on a tree. And I thought, that's great. That goes in my gratitude box. Now I need to only find four. Um, so the idea is that you're finding new things every day. You don't just go through the same old thing. So it does, it's, it's very powerful, this. And I think as a manager or a leader, we can start leading the way in this. So we're not always relentlessly looking at a task orientation, what we've got to do, what do we need to achieve. Actually, let's just pause and just uh, think about what's gone, gone well. Uh, do, you know, the appreciation of our colleagues, for example. Um, so I think there's, a, there's an awful lot that we can do around that gratitude piece that can help combat uh, burnout, but also prevent it from happening in the workplace. Because, of course, burnout is something very closely associated to uh, overwhelm in the workplace rather than outside of the workplace. Yes. And it's when you're talking about it there, it sounds it feels like it would be quite contagious and bring its own energy and grow. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We are emotionally contagious. You know, we catch the emotions of others like we catch a cold. So said uh, uh, Daniel Goleman, you know, chap who yes. uh, the ideas around emotional intelligence. And uh, so it sort of builds that energy. You're absolutely right. It just builds that energy um, between us of, of positivity and optimism. So, yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Yeah.